I'm sure that your homes are full of all sorts of items and that there are stories behind some of them. This, I would like to tell you about, is a cake stand that we were given by my grandma as a wedding present. But it wasn't just a wedding present to us 27 years ago, it was also a wedding present to her many, many more years before that. She married into the family company, or married into a family, but they had a family company. And this was the present that was given to them, her and my granddad, by the employees of that company. It was a printing company in Sheffield, it was a Wilkinson family. Um, it went out of business years ago. It went out of business long before my time and even probably before my dad's time. Sometimes it gets cleaned, sometimes it gets used, but really it's just nice to have it as a memento of that family business. And so I thought we'd clean it up today and Alec is going to lead us in a prayer as I clean. Lord, as we think on the cleansing process that Marion is carrying out, transforming a dusty heirloom into something fit for purpose, we come to you in prayer, confessing where we fall short, our weaknesses, ready to accept your transforming forgiveness. Lord, we confess that at times our ways of being in church can be like relics of a bygone age. And whilst our heritage and tradition are important, help us, we pray, to respond to current needs, speaking in ways that can be understood. We confess that we ourselves can become tarnished by the world in which we live, sucking us in to worldly values and ways of thinking that hide the truth of you from ourselves and those around us. We pray humbly for the cleansing power of your forgiveness to be at work in us, reaching those parts of us that we prefer to lead to one side, that we choose to ignore. Thank you for the knowledge that our sins can and will be forgiven. Through you we can be made clean and given the opportunity to start afresh. We thank you, O oh Lord, for your loving and merciful forgiveness. As we confess, Lord, we pray that as well as knowing ourselves forgiven, you will prepare and inspire us to live our lives renewed and ready to serve you as you call us to. In the name of your risen Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. 